This video explains how to install Franklin on a Debian machine. Uh, you need to have a Debian machine, obviously, it needs to be Jesse or newer. Um, so first you need to get all the required packages for doing this install. Um, I'm typing here the line that you would need to type uh, to get them. My machine, they already are installed, so it won't actually do anything. Uh, you do need to have sudo installed for the build. Uh, so I'm using it here, but it will also be used later. Um, so make sure your user is allowed to use sudo. So when you have all the required packages, um, we go and get the source of Franklin uh, from GitHub. Uh, this is the line you use to get it. Uh, it takes a while to download, so just be patient. Uh, note for if you're using a uh, BeagleBone to do this on, um, the system needs to be Jesse or newer. And the bigger bone at this time, anyway, is uh, shipped with Wheezy, which is older. So you need to upgrade to Jesse before running this uh, procedure. So when the source is downloaded, then we go to the newly created directory. It's called Franklin. In that directory we call make, and that will start the build and uh, build some dependencies, Franklin itself, and then install all the new packages. And that takes a while. So makes sense to go get a cup of coffee. When the build is done, uh, we will use a browser to connect to Franklin. Uh, the process will install the packages and when the package is installed it will automatically start the Franklin service, uh, which means that it is reachable by the, with the browser. Um, on this system I'm running it on is the local system here, so I have the browser running on the same computer, meaning I can go to localhost uh, or 127.0.0.1. Uh, if you're installing it on another machine on the network, you need to obviously know where that machine is. You also need that for logging into it with the uh, SSH connection. Uh, but then you use the same address in your browser uh, location bar. Um, note that I have disabled my encryption on the connection because I'm using it over a local connection only. Um, and so I am using a regular HTTP connection. Uh, which you will see in a moment. Uh, if you do not do that, then it will need to be HTTPS. So here's the browser. First we enable setup, then you see all the ports. I have only one. Click on it, and then select the hardware that is connected to it. In my case, a Melzy with OptiBoot. So uh, I click on it and it will upload the firmware to that machine. And when it's done, it will tell me and detect the printer, uh, which is completely empty. So I first upload an ini file with some information about the hardware. Uh, if you don't have anything better, uh, then you can use a file uh, that comes in the Franklin source. Um, in the Calibrate directory, there are some ini files for some hardware. I choose Melzy, it sets up all the pins. Um, it can give some error messages like it does here, that is not a problem, that's just because things change and some settings that used to be valid aren't anymore, and I haven't changed any files, but all the other settings are still set up properly. After doing that, it's a good idea to save the profile and also set it as default, so that it starts 
with this profile next time the printer is connected. So now we have all these settings which still need to be set up, but especially the pins have been done.